with Thanksgiving behind us, it's safe to say we are now in the holiday season. And if you're looking for some joy to get you in the spirit, look no further than the Bayam Theater tonight for the annual Christmas Wonderland concert put on by none other than Mark Milovats. And we are so happy to have Mark here with us today. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you again. And you brought your bling. I did a little bit of bling. We have a lot more bling in the show. Tonight. I'm sure you do. Yeah. You get to tour all over the world, but coming back home for this, this is an annual thing. This is it a is. tradition. It's our 26th year. Wow. Yeah, started by Arnold Palmer and his wife, Winnie, for Children's Hospital and the Children's Miracle Network. Yep. And, and you keep coming back for this. It's so special for you, too. The way you say that, it sounds torturous. <laughs> um, no, I do keep coming back for it. <laughs> well, it's a lot of fun. You grew up in Western Pennsylvania, <laughs> but you, it, Pittsburgh is not your home. Well, I spent any my longer. time between Nashville and here now. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. So tell me, all these years, do you have a favorite part of this show that you do? You know, my favorite part is the children's choir that we put together just for that night yeah. when they sing and I get to stand on the side of stage. Because it was just so exciting. There was a little boy in rehearsal this year. I, he was mouthing the words, and I realized that he probably can't read. And uh, because he's too young, yeah, <laughs> I said, "You'll be great. <laughs> You're They'll be love great. you." So it's yeah, so that's one of my favorite parts. That and singing "No Holy Night." I think is, is that one of your. I was going to ask you your favorite song that you sing every year. I would say "Oh Holy Night," and then right after that, the most wonderful time of the year because it uh, went to number one last year on the independent music chart. So mm -hmm. we were really very blessed. And you always have some surprises. Yes, so I have uh, one female singer coming from Europe uh -huh. uh, this year. Um, she's very famous there. And another one who I'm sure you will recognize, and the only hint I can give you is he uh, is from California and loves to surf. Oh boy. Anybody? Oh, wait, no. I'm, I'm looking around to the people in the studio right now, like does anybody have a guess? But you can't say. I, I can't. I can't. I can. I can only hint to it, but I'm sure you're gonna know. But he also <laughs> he also wrote Barry Manilow's hit "I Write the Song," oh. which very few people know, and he's gonna talk about it tonight. So. Okay, <laughs> it's always a lot of fun. Why do you think people enjoy holiday music so much? Coming to your show, starting the holiday season off this way. I think it's the experience. Yeah. I think we're looking to have fun, right? We've been cooped up for a long time, not, yeah. not lately, but when, when I go to these shows now, people just love to have fun, and it's all about fun. I joke with the audience, I go into the audience. You know, somebody asked me the other day, what's a showman? And I said, it's somebody who brings the song to life. Oh, I think, that. I think. Well, and you do just that. We've, we've had the pleasure of having you perform here in studio and being able to see some of your, your show before, and it's just fantastic. You've been very busy this weekend talking about the one night only show, which right. is tonight. Right, it is. Um, and you said that you actually did a little bit of trivia over the weekend with 3WS. I did, Johnny yeah. Hartwell, 3WS. Yes, he always gives me the top like four or five every year I come on, and he stumps me all the time. I'm so curious because we also thought you know, how original of us that we that we could maybe do some holiday <laughs> trivia with you well. as a person who's been singing holiday songs for 26 years. Okay, so we're going to ask you a couple. They stumped me. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm bad, very bad at this. Okay, well, let's start with the first one. All right. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch, was written and composed in 1966 for the animated special How the Grinch Stole Christmas. In the song, what is his brain full of? Bugs. I'm going to give you the point. Are you really? Because it's black spiders. Oh, I was close. I, th I think that that goes in that category. I have arachnophobia, so that's probably why that's I probably what you that. Yeah, okay. that was it. Only two Christmas songs have reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. What are they? Really? Mm. It's probably Mariah Carey's song uh -huh. and probably Bing Crosby. No. Get out. Yeah, but I would have guessed that too would because you? I love okay. that song. Okay. The Christmas song. All right. right? Was I close with Mariah Carey? Yes. All I want for Christmas is you. The second one I couldn't get either. Oh, wow. Do you want me to tell you? Well, yeah. The Chipmunk song. I love that song. Right? Who knows? Oh, my gosh. I should have yeah. guessed that. Uh, in the church scene in Home Alone, uh -huh. I hope you know this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, we're going I way hope, back yeah. now. <laughs> okay, in the church scene in Home Alone, the choir is rehearsing Oh Holy Night when Kevin enters the church. What classic song are they performing as he is leaving? It is one of my favorites, although you probably have not performed it because it does need a choir. Oh, does it? Uh, do you hear what I hear? Carol of the Bells. Oh. Never See, how can guessed. how no. can you perform that song? Like you really need all of the levels, I right? Can become a human bell. Right. <laughs> it's possible. I used to be a bee back in the B94 days. That was my <laughs> So comedy too. You're up for comedy tonight. <laughs> what is the most published Christmas hymn in North America? The pub most published Silent Night? Nope. I'll give you another guess. Hmm. It rhymes with schmoy to the schmorl. <laughs> 
joy to the world. And, <laughs> and on that point, may I give you some chocolate oh, from our I sponsor, really Betsy Ann Chocolates, oh, to bring you joy for everyone. So sweet of you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more question because <laughs> we have just enough time. Thank you so much for You're the welcome. chocolates. Since 1963, many artists have recorded White Christmas, but only one has charted with it. Who was that artist? Bing? Michael Bolton. Get out. I'm telling you, I couldn't answer a Michael single Bolton. one of these. Yeah. Yeah, they're Love really, them, but really hard. The they are hard. Who uh, made them up? Uh, well, it's questionable. Alante. <laughs> oh. We, we trust his work, though. Yeah, He's no, they're the good. He's good. <laughs> He's good. He's good. That's good stuff. They weren't the easy ones. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. And one night only, you got to see this. There is still time to get your tickets for Mark's Christmas Wonderland concert happening tonight at the Bayam. The show starts at 7 this evening and plenty of surprises, as you heard, too. We'll have all of the information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. We'll be right back.